president of the North Carolina State Fair to one of the hottest concert tours in the country. Traffic is moving at a snail's pace around the fairgrounds and the Lenovo Center tonight. Good evening and thanks so much for being with us. I'm Maggie Newland. And I'm Greg Funderburg. And take a look here at the traffic conditions this hour in and around the fairgrounds. And of course, the Lenovo Center where roads been packed with drivers all day and night long. CBS 17's Amalia Roy joins us now live in Raleigh and Amalia. It took you guys several hours just to navigate through all that traffic to get to the fairgrounds. Yes, Greg, Maggie, when I spoke to you just a few hours ago, I was stressed because we were so close but so far away after traveling for more than three hours trying to get to the fairgrounds. But as you can see, we made it. It's been packed. I could smell the fried dough and the fried Oreos. I got some fries while I was in there. But now the fair is wrapping up for the day. And you can see that the smart people maybe might be avoiding the traffic because instead of driving out, they were lining up to these shuttles right here that will take them to the further away places where they parked. But they get to avoid what I am sure is going to be a very long drive back for us. Now, we did make a few mistakes along the way, so hopefully you guys can learn from them. Thousands of people are expected to pass through these gates every day of the NC State Fair. The annual event can easily draw in a million people from across the region, and they're all driving in. About total, about an hour almost coming from uh, the Crabtree area and up to there now. We'll, we're still in traffic because we still got to find parking. Saturday afternoon, it took us more than three hours to get to the fair coming in from Western Boulevard. While waiting, we found many people who decided to park as far as two miles away just to beat this traffic. It's in the middle of the day, so we parked at a friend's house and then walked that way, and now it's horrendous. On top of everyone coming in for the fair, Saturday, Sabrina Carpenter performing at the Lenovo Center brought another crowd. Here, concert goers faced the same traffic issue. But we're from Virginia. So we so left at what, 11? We left at 11, and we had been in traffic for a standstill for about two hours before we actually got here. But there were carts stationed near Hillsborough Street ready to take people wherever they needed on the grounds. One driver told me he charged $15 per person. The traffic was so intense that it was actually pretty easy for me to just hop out the car and speak to people in that standstill. Now, my sister found out that I did come to the state fair today, so I do think I am on the hook to come back tomorrow because she got pretty jealous. Live in Raleigh, Amalia Roy, CBS 17 News. All right.